Hi guys, Ms. Montserrat here, and I have homework help for you today. This is chapter 12, lesson 5. So, right, it always gives us a little problem, so we remember what we did during the day. Describe the attributes of a quadrilateral, right? Your attributes are what you look like, what you, what makes you you. So what makes a quadrilateral a quadrilateral? Then classified it based on its attributes. And there's different kinds of quadrilaterals. I know you already know squares and rectangles, right? Both are quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral has four sides, but there are other shapes that also have four sides. So the quadrilateral has all sides congruent, right? They're all equal, and opposite sides are parallel. So when I have parallel lines like this, um, it classifies my quadrilateral. It has four right angles. Right, I can tell it has right angles because they put these little squares there. Let me know that. And all sides are equal, so I know it's a square. Right, I, it, it's not a rhombus because rhombuses don't have the right angles. They do have all sides equal, but they don't have all right angles. It could be, I could also call this square a rhombus. I could say, oh, it's a rhombus, but better classification for it, better um, description of it is a square. All right. Describe the attribu attributes, I can't say that word, of each quadrilateral. Then classify the quadrilateral. So I can see these two sides are parallel. So opposite um, I'm gonna I have to say one opposite side. Sorry, I need to say one pair of opposite sides are parallel, right? Parallel lines never touch. So these two lines are going parallel. This one and this one, they are not touching. My other thing I see are these two sides are congruent, right? This one is the same length as this one. So I'm going to do my colon, a semicolon to separate it, and I'm going to say one pair of opposite sides are congruent, and I'm going to tell you what this name of the shape is. What is it, guys? Trapezoid, right, you're right, it's a trapezoid. Sorry, my door the Explorer, you know. All right, now I have another one here. I could say opposite sides are um, parallel, right? Opposite sides are parallel, but they are also congruent. So this is the same as this, this is the same as this, right? I can write it here. I said one pair was parallel and one pair were congruent, but here opposite sides are parallel and congruent. This is the same length as this. Right, I drew a little one line to let you know these are equal, and I'll draw two lines here to let you know these sides are equal. It's just a little symbol I have. Right, I put a square here to let you know they're right angles. So I'm going to say opposite sides are congruent, which means equal, and parallel, which means they never touch. They run side by side, right? Just like my L's in the word parallel, they run side by side. They do not touch. Oh, I also want to say four right angles and right, I'm not saying all four sides are congruent, just opposite sides are congruent. So it's not a square. It is a, what is it guys? You're right. It's a rectangle. If you said rectangle, you're correct. Sorry, I don't know how Dora says it. Circle the quadrilaterals that have the attributes of a rectangle, that have all the attributes of a rectangle, right? A trapezoid, no. Parallelogram, no, not necessarily. It doesn't have the right angles, right? It doesn't have the right angles, doesn't have both pairs of opposite sides um, congruent. A rhombus doesn't have right angles. All sides are congruent, but the right angles are not there. So a square, I could call a rectangle and a square, they have the similar. So a square has all the same attributes of a rectangle, but a rectangle does not have all the same attributes of a square, right? All sides have to be equal on a 
square. Oh, hopefully you could see that. Sorry, I wasn't making sure that you could see that. You can pause if you need to. On to the back. All right, so name all the quadrilaterals that have the given attributes. Opposite sides are parallel. A parallelogram, right? That's the whole definition of a parallelogram. All opposite sides are parallel. Um, a rectangle, right? Opposite sides are parallel. All um, and a square. Opposite sides are parallel. Ooh. And a rhombus, right? The opposite sides are the same length and parallel. Opposite sides are parallel. Oops, I don't need the. I was just doing a list, so I don't need a semicolon there. Oh. Um, sorry, rhombus is the one I'm missing, not square. There. All right. What about what shape has four right angles? Right, the rectangle has four right angles. And the square has four right angles. I'm just doing a list, so I'm just putting a comma, right? I don't need to separate my answers. I'm just writing a list. Exactly one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Right, that one, when just one side or parallel, is called a, what's it called? It starts with a trapezoid, right? Just one of the sides are parallel. And what shapes have four congruent sides? All four sides are the same length on these two shapes, right? I know you know this one since kindergarten. And the other one, hopefully you've known it a while, it's a rhombus, right? All four sides are equal, are congruent on a rhombus. Write a real world problem that involves classifying a quadrilateral. So we're going to write a real world problem and someone has to tell me what kind of shape I was trying to describe. Then solve the problem and then I'll tell them what I was describing. So let's say what shape Oops, I shouldn't say what shape. I forget, at home I have my what out. Let's see, what type of quadrilateral, right? Because they were asking me to solve a problem about, about a quadrilateral. What type of quadrilateral is a football field? I could have done a baseball field too, right? Then we'd be a rhombus, but a football field is the shape of a rectangle or a parallelogram, I guess, but we'll do rectangle. All right, fill in each blank with the correct term or number to complete each sentence. A rectangle is a parallelogram with blank right angles. How many right angles does it have? You're right, four. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly blank pair of parallel sides, right? Only one on a pair on a trapezoid are parallel. Otherwise, I would call it probably be a parallelogram or it could be a rectangle, a square. Which statement about the figures shown below is true? Figures K and N are rectangles, right? We can just look at them. I can tell N is not a rectangle. It doesn't have four right angles. Figures L and N are quadrilaterals. All right, N's a quadrilateral, it has four sides, but L only has three sides, so it is not true, right? This would not be true. Figures K and N are parallelograms. Ooh, parallelogram, right? Two sides are parallel, opposite sides are parallel, parallelogram, and opposite sides are parallel. They never touch, right? They run right along next to each other. If it's a parallelogram, they never touch. That one's true, but let's look at D just in case, right? Figure M and N are parallelograms. M, oh, not a parallelogram, because these sides are not parallel. They're going to touch if I keep going up, right? These sides look parallel. And N, I, I want to say they're parallel too, but, oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. 
sorry, M is not a parallelogram. N is, I was, yeah, right, uh, sorry. M is not, N is. So this can't be true because it says they are both, right? It's telling me they are both parallelograms here. But I knew C was correct anyway, so hopefully that was a wrong answer. All of a sudden I'm like, wait, wait, what? But, all right, there we go. Homework done. What do you have to do next? Alexia, ST Math, read and take an AR test. Right, this is for you so you can get a better job when you grow up.